I would like to solve this question. Find a vector orthogonal to the vector v with the coordinates 3, 2, and negative 5. Okay, so if we have a vector u that is orthogonal to the vector v, the dot product between them is 0. Why? It's just because I have the vector v, vector v, and I have the vector u and the angle between them is 90 degree or pi over 2 and the dot product is the length of u the length of v so these are two numbers not a vector times cosine of the angle between them and cosine of 90 is 0 that's why if we have two vectors that are orthogonal to each other, their dot product is zero. So let me have the, the vector u to be x, y, and z, because I need to find them. And the dot product with uh, the given vector is zero. So in that case, 3x plus 2y minus 5z is equal to zero. Okay, I need to find x, y, and z. What is this shape? This is a plane in the space. Okay, let me try to graph it. From here, oops, let me show it to you. Okay, so as you see, this is a plane. Okay, where's the vector v? The vector v is three units along the x axis, so three units here two units along the y-axis and five units uh, goes down along the z-axis. So this is the vector v. As you see, all the vectors that are in the purple plane are perpendicular to the vector v. Okay, so just it says that find a vector. So I need to just choose x, y, and then z um, in such a way that the, the vector that I'm choosing lies on this plane. Now let x to be 1, y to be 1, then I'm going to plug in into the equation here. 3 times 1 plus 2 times 1 minus 5z equals to 0. So this is 5, so negative 5z equals negative 5, so z is also equal to 1. So the vector 1, 1, 1, this is on the plane, and for sure it's perpendicular to the vector v. You can check. See, 3, 2, 1, negative 5, the dot product is 0 because you get 3 times 1 plus 2 times 1 minus 5. This is 0. If you want to get another vector, let x to be something else, negative 2. Let, let z, for example, let z to be, I don't know, 4. Then I need to put these two in the equation. So it would be 3 times negative 2 plus 2y minus 5 times 4 equals to 0. This is negative 6. This is negative 20. So I'm going to have 2y equals to 26. So y is equal to 13. So the vector negative 2, 13, and 4 is also perpendicular to that. If you want, you can check times 3, 2, negative 5, it's equal to negative 6 plus 26 minus 20. This is 0. So these two vectors, this one and that one. I found two vectors orthogonal to the given vector. Both of them lies in this plane.
I would like to solve this question. How to find two unit vectors orthogonal to both vectors 3 to 1 and negative 1, 1, 0? Let me call them a name. This one as u, this one as v, and I'm going to graph u, I'm going to graph v, and there's a plane that passes through these and two. The vector that is orthogonal to both would be perpendicular to the plane that passes through the uh, u and v, and it would be the cross product of these two. So let me write the cross product of u and v. It's going to be a big matrix, three by three. I'm gonna have i, j and k on the first row three two one and the second row and negative one one zero and the third row and the answer would be what it would be i times this minor how do i get this if i'm gonna write i i'm gonna remove the row that contains i and the column that contains i so i left with these numbers to one one zero okay the next one would be negative j and for negative j i'm gonna remove the row that has j in it and the column that has j in it <coughs> so i left with three one negative one and zero plus k times um, I'm going to remove the column that uh, the row that has k in it, the column that has k in it. So I left with this one. 3, 2, negative 1, and 1. So this is a, uh, a determinant, which would be 2 times 0 minus 1 times 1. This one would be 3 times 0 minus 1 times negative 1. Okay, and this one would be 3 times 1 minus 2 times negative 1. Okay, so it would be, uh, this one would be negative 1. This one would be 0 plus 1. Okay, but don't forget that I have a negative 1 in here. So it would be 1i minus negative 1i actually minus j. And how about this one? This one would be 3 plus 2, 5, plus k, plus 5k. Okay, so this is the cross product vector, okay? But you notice that since the cross product is perpendicular to the plane, let me call the plane P, I can have in the same direction, I can have another vector in here down there, okay, which is the negative of the cross product. Okay, and it would be negative u cross v. Okay, and you know how to find out um, using the right hand with the direction of the cross product. I'm gonna put my right hand, all my fingers across u. I'm gonna curl them across v, and my thumb is going to show the cross product, which would be in that direction. And the negative of that would be. Um, on the bottom, which would be this vector, which would be i plus j minus 5k, basically the negative of that. So I have two vectors. I'm going to write them like this, negative 1, negative 1, and 5. And the other vector is 1, 1, and negative 5. But you notice that I want unit vectors. So let me give you a recall. Of a unit vector. A unit vector in the direction of vector w, for example, would be like this. So I have a vector w, okay, and the vector of size one, so unit vector has the length one in the direction of w as you see that it would be something like this okay so it would be w times number scalar 
uh, times w but what is the scalar the scalar would be one over the length of w the length of w is a number one over the length would be just a number times w this is the unit vector so now i would like to get the unit vector for each one of them in this direction and also a unit vector in that direction so to find that it would be the same vector negative one negative one five times the length of it the length of negative one negative one and five which would be what i'm gonna keep writing the vector itself and this one would be negative one square plus negative one square plus five square so the answer here would be 1 plus 1 plus uh, 25, which would be 27. So it would be negative 1 over square root of 27, negative 1 over square root of 27, and 5 over square root of 27. Okay, I'm going to do the same procedure for this vector to find the unit vector. It would be 1, 1, negative 5 over the length of it, which would be 1 square, 1 square plus negative 5 square, which would be 1 over, it would be the same, um, square root of 27. 27 and negative 5 over square root of 27. 